Here we go. Well, today I want to welcome Atlanta Drummond. She's all the Hello. way over from the United Kingdom. Welcome, Atlanta. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself to give students over here in the U.S. an idea of who you are, where you live, and what you're working on? Well, I'm, my name is Atlanta Drummond, as Andrea introduced me. I'm an 18-year-old athlete, entrepreneur, and author from London, UK. So I, running is my passion, and I've been doing it for quite a long time. So, you know, recently I, you know, thought I would write a book about that, I'm actually inspired by my mother. Um, so anyway, I wrote a book and published last, uh, last autumn, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm a competitive runner, I like to do the steeplechase in the summer, and I just lead running groups, that's my passion. Also in my spare time, I love playing the piano. I am a self-taught uh, pianist and I, I teach myself to play all sorts of things, but that's what I do. I think in America, um, you'd probably say it's grade 13, maybe I'm in uh, you know, grade 12. I'm in year, I'm in year 13. So yeah, anyway, that's what I love to do. Running is running is my passion. Also, I have a tutoring business where oh, we wow. just help people um, learn more. We really want to inspire students to have a better way of learning and to actually enjoy learning because if we don't enjoy studying our subjects, we can never be good at them. So it's more of a personal development meets tutoring business that, that I have. Oh, I love that. I didn't know that part about you. I'm so oh. excited to learn more. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So what made you want to, I know you're inspired by your mom, but what made you want to write a book and start helping young people? Well, it's just when I was about 15, my mother did say, you know, you know so much, why don't you write a book? And I think at the time I lacked self-confidence. So it's not something, you know, I agreed with it. It's not something I, I, I saw myself doing in the near future, but it was really um, just sort of starting running and meeting a lot of people that wanted to start and they just didn't have the courage or the motivation to do so or just thought me running I could never do something like that so I wanted to motivate more to do that and a lot of the people in my running club were behind me on that saying you're so motivational why don't you you know you motivate me so then I, I you know writing a book was the perfect opportunity to do so so I, I love helping people and it's really important to help your community especially young people because sometimes they really lack the self-confidence but you know if you're able to help them they can realize the self-confidence that they naturally have and they can go out and get their goals and just go out and do those things I love it very well said Atlanta so how did you know what to do? You've got these ideas. Who were your mentors that kind of helped you get this way? Because I know that, well, yeah, I just know that you, yeah. you can't do this all by yourself. So how did you get ideas to help you? Well, I'd say my mentors were you, Andrea. Oh, thank <laughs> and you. And also, also my mother. I found that you were really helpful and inspirational during the whole, whole process. And I just, oh. you know, again, I wanted to thank you for helping me with that and being my mentor. I had, a, you know, the advice definitely did help. And I think it helps having a mentor, just someone that's been where you are right. and to help you do that. So I received a lot of advice. Um, my main piece of advice that I could maybe give to people, um, young people that are thinking of going down this road is find someone that understands you was going down the same path as you and just ask them advice. I think the main thing here is self-confidence. I think that's something that we need to look into getting and self-confidence isn't, isn't an easy thing to find, but I find that repeatedly putting yourself out there is you know, the easiest way to do that. Um, Andrea, you inspired me, so I think finding inspiration is really important. Um, saw what you were doing with your with your programs and I really felt inspired to do that and you know with your book and everything so yeah thank you thank you so much it's so nice to hear that that I'm impacting people in different countries thank you so much for that and you as well what you're doing it all comes back so when I thank see you. what you're doing it helps me to keep going so we're we're here to really help each other no matter what our Brilliant. ages of course yeah. So now the start of the year, I noticed you doing this daily video challenge. I am. <laughs> What's going on with that? Why did you start it? What are you learning well, from it? I initially started the video challenge to sort of um, to bring myself repeatedly outside of my comfort zone. So I've never been a video person. I'm not really a fan of taking videos. I may take pictures, but videos is something different and unusual for me. And as I'd like to become a speaker later on in life, I thought it would be a brilliant idea to actually start taking videos, get myself into the pattern of 
you know, exposing myself and putting it out there and putting it on social media where everyone can see it. So it was more a thing of traveling outside of my comfort zone. I felt that that was needed for me to succeed. So coming outside of my comfort zone involved taking the videos and I, that's why that's why I started. So I, I thought to myself, a 360 day video challenge would be really great challenge. I don't know anyone that's done it. So I thought I'd start it off. And if anybody wanted to join in, then they could. But for me, it was just coming to outside of my comfort zone and also giving value where I can. I think that's more important because sometimes you can write Facebook statuses or you can write blogs, but sometimes people want to hear what you you have to say. So I felt like I was doing my part and helping out people by creating the videos. And how does it feel from your first one to where your videos are now? Because I've watched you wow. from the beginning. It's definitely, it's been a big leap. I'm definitely feeling a lot more confident and it's become more of my routine and my habit. At first it was it was quite uncomfortable. I wasn't used to it and I, I'd have to myself up like, oh, to do my video now and I think so much about my appearance and, and what I'm gonna say, but now I just do it and I don't have to think too much about it. I just go and I just speak and speak my mind. It's it's so much like routine. I don't even have to think twice. It's, it's great. The leap from the first video to now is just amazing. I see the difference as well. I think uh, <laughs> speaking to you now, you've you've come miles away. Um, you're ready now. Oh, thank you. You're ready for speaking. You're ready to really lock, rocket yourself into the world to show other thank people you. what you're doing. This is it, it's so inspiring. Have I missed anything? Well, I've kind of got an idea of what you've been doing. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to share with students that? you know, that would be important for them to learn. I, I hear your message is self-confidence. Is that really? Oh, yeah. the... I think self-confidence is important because I think a lot of us are thinking we're not good enough or people will say things about us when we do things like come out there. Even with my book, I, I had thoughts about what people will say or how it would look. And I was really nervous about it. So I think the important thing is to have that self-confidence and to realize that whatever it is you're doing, you're awesome. And if you're having doubts that you can't do it, you can, you need to believe in yourself and just be motivated. And when you find your inspiration, use it because I find that there's inspiration everywhere. All you have to do is just look. And when you use that inspiration, you can take it a really long way like I looked at you I looked at my mother there were so many people around me writing books and doing amazing things and you know for me that was enough inspiration I thought you know I I want to do that and just do it just yes. get it done you know because we always procrastinate and just do it that is my message love it Atlanta you're doing so great I look forward to following you, you and watching you and seeing where you're going if people want to check out uh a way to contact you what's the yeah. best way well I do have my website atlantadrummond.com and also my YouTube channel which would be a brilliant place um, to actually follow my video challenge and what I'm doing in my daily life so that's also Atlanta Drummond so relatively easy to find I'm also on Twitter Atlanta Drummond again mm -hmm. at Atlanta Drummond and Facebook if anyone wants to contact me at Atlanta Drummond again so it's all the same name on all social media platforms if anyone's interested Absolutely. I'll be sure to put all those links in here. And I, I want to thank you so much for your time all the way from United Kingdom. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Atlanta. We look forward to seeing where you're going next. Thank you, Andrea. Take care. Take care.